Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Tokyo headquarters. So today is birthday of Olori Hadiza and Oba Elewishi celebrated her in a beautiful way. Before that, if you don't know, um, this is the second wife of Oba Elewishi. She's a princess from Kano State and Oba Elewishi you married her May 2019 and since then they have been living happy so today being her birthday or by the way she said something that you know other birthday wishes that she has been wishing to her she has not really used those words that she used today so people are reacting and saying wow things are really really changing so um Oba Elegushi took to his Instagram page and wrote a queen was born today a queen made special for me and continues to fill our world with love here is to many more years of love and happiness for you happy birthday my queen like this piece that he wrote here he was like straightforward and he wrote something beautiful it's as if he's free. You know, before when Oba Elegushi got married to her newly, um, I think Oba Elegushi was like trying to avoid his first wife, Olori Sekinat, from feeling bad because of the kind of words he can use on his second wife. But recently, I think they got used to the polygamy stuff and even Olori Sekinat said in one of her interviews that she has already, you know, accepted her fate, even though she never prayed to be numbered or prayed to be in a polygamous marriage, but she has fight and fight and fight and she later realized that this is not a fighting matter, that this is um reality so she has to like accept it and move on and make herself happy you know since then her life has really changed um they said there have been no more quarrel that it used to be at the palace the palace is too is really in like happy moods not like before that even though you know polygamy once in a while there might be quarrel but they said right now, Louisa Kinat has accepted her fate and she has moved on, you know, doing her things. When it's her turn to be with the king, she will gladly go for it. You know, she's just traveling around the world, shopping, making herself happy, you know, going, going for vacation, you know, trying to, like, you know, live her life. And that's what she's supposed to do because there is nothing she can do about this situation. And in the other hand, they said Uluri Hadiza has learned to not to cross her boundary you know then when they married her you know second wives now how they behave sometimes they'll be feeling like oh if first wife if um if he really loved you he wouldn't have married me you know that kind of thing but now it's down on her because it was rumored like allegedly that Olo Risekina got married to a younger woman to see if he will have a male child you know, um, when he got married to Olori Hadiza, their first child was um, a male child. But unfortunately, the little baby died, which was very, very hot for May his soul continue to rest in peace. So since then, Olori Hadiza has given birth to another baby girl. And there was sometime the rumor that someone gave birth for Olori Someone gave birth for Oba Elegushi, and it was actually a girl. Then recently, maybe early this year, it was rumored that he got married to a younger girl from Lagos State, Nigeria, and the girl actually gave birth to a baby boy. And according to rumor, they said they are hiding it from the public because they are scared. Maybe because they showed the face of their baby, maybe something happened to the baby because that time they said. Olori Hadiza's baby was not sick, you know, just like that, and the baby died. So it they, it really hurt them. So they needed to be very careful because, you know, according to tradition of um, a Kata kingdom, it's only the first son that will succeed the king when he passed on. 
to Olori Legushi. Um, he don't want to be the cause of like his generation or his lineage kinship um going out from his family to another family. So he's doing all his best to make sure that the kinship remain with his generation. In order to do that, he needs to have a male child. So that is what you know he has been um struggling with and I believe that now they said a younger girl has given him a male child and I pray God protect him. And also if it's not true and I believe that one day he will give it to a male child. He has money, honestly. What I'm always thinking that this this man has money, this king. Why not since um his wife Hadiza is still in the delivering age, you know, like, like he, she still wants to give birth to babies. Why not them do like gender selection? Gender selection, when you have money, you can do it. Or by Leguisha has a lot of money. I think he, he can do it if he wants to, instead of marrying so many women so that his palace will not become um, a war zone because polygamy, one, one, two, even two women are war. Talk more of when you have a lot of them. Like, it's not really easy. There will be fight and fight everywhere. And I think he's not somebody like that, you know. So, yeah, so that is what is happening. And, you know, yeah, that's the update. And the other time, Oba Ileguishi took um, Lori Hadiza to one beautiful place in Abuja, Nigeria. They posted it said they went for vacation. Oba Ileguishi did not post it, but there is this fan page that Olori Hadiza have that anything she don't want to post in her page, she will go and post it there. You understand what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, I saw it there. It was really beautiful. And this her birthday. They said Oba Ileguishi has prepared a very, very, uh, very, very expensive party for her, which will take place by the weekend. And yeah, so here I am wishing her um, happy birthday. I'm wishing her many, many, many happy returns. And if you're watching this video, if today is your birthday, or the birthday of your relative, your wife, you know, your husband, your kids, your nephews, um, nieces, aunties, mommies, daddies, brothers, sisters, I'm wishing you guys a happy birthday and a beautiful December. So guys, that is it. That is what I um I want to give to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And before we go, if you watch up to this moment and you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be getting notification anytime I post a new video. And please remember we are in Ember Month. Remember to tell your family why you are going to remember to be careful. And finally, whatever you did not achieve this year, don't worry. Next year is just in um in twenty eight days time we we'll enter two thousand and twenty five and you will start again before the end of the year you will still achieve even if you do not achieve or be grateful and continue the journey. One thing that is very important is life. When there is life, there is hope. So the ones that you did not achieve in two thousand and twenty four, make sure you continue in. 2025 with hope with faith and with hard work i believe that you will achieve it do you understand me yeah so i'm wishing you guys good luck i'm wishing you um good luck in all your dealings i'm wishing you um god's grace and yeah continue being strong never never give up no matter what you're going through right now stay strong be happy be faithful, be hopeful, be prayerful, and have faith in God. The most important part is do your part and leave the rest to God. Thank you and have a beautiful day.